Hi, and welcome to my mid-March energy update. Not sure what's going to come through. I do have some decks handy. I'm going to pull some cards, but I feel like it's probably going to be more to do with this great awakening that we're going through. Um, something with patience, which is more of a 3D thing because we, you know, we want, we, we get impatient why things aren't happening quick enough. Whereas our 5D self knows that things just manifest like this and don't worry about it. You just know it's coming. There's no time limits. You just know it just comes. And then possibly even a little bit more to do with like really trusting and coming from your heart. So those are the things that are kind of been um, hitting me energetically today as I tune into the energy. And uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach. And um, today we're going to do an energy reading for mid-March, see what's going on. Um, I do want to let you know that if you want to find out more about me, you can go to my website, lovemylife.coach. And also you can um, get my free meditation. I have a link to down below and or even my um, seven tips to high vibe living. I have that down below as well. So let's see. I have to say, and I think I'll pick cards as we go along, but you know, we are, we're in a, in a great awakening on so many levels, right? So there's this spiritual awakening going on as we're moving out of one way of being into a whole new way. The, um, the more connected to the earth and all the programs and all the systems that have been put on us throughout our life that we believe to be reality when as we awaken we start to realize oh well hold on a second this is not really reality it's more just what I've been told is reality so when we're moving from 3d to 5d you're start, you're beginning to go more into yourself like really knowing yourself as more than just the physical body and your surroundings around you right and your belongings, your things, right? <laughs> All this material stuff. Um, you're getting to know yourself more as energy, as the being that you are, as the light that you are, as the love that you are, and that you're connected to everything. Because really, truly, there is no separation. There is no racism. There is no uh, religious conflict, right? There's, there's, there's just individuals. Now you'll notice as we come in little kids, they don't look at each other on the playground and say, oh, well, you're of this religion or you're of this race. No, they just want to play and have fun. Right? They just connect as spirit, hugging and loving and laughing with each other, sometimes fighting with each other, but not because of um, any label that was placed upon them. They're just living, right? And that's really what's meant for all of us to be. And I believe we're coming into that because there is a lot of craziness in the world right now. Um, there are things that you thought were real or true that are not. There are things that um, you wished were true that actually are, <laughs> right? It's like, you know, a lot of people are feeling like, well, what, well, what's true? Where do I belong? You know, like I hear this from this person, this from that one. Uh, these people are claiming to do this. These people, you know, like all this stuff is all on the outside. So that's why you always have to come back to the inner, right? Trusting what you feel and sense to be true. Because there could be information coming your way and you're like, well, hey, look at, look at, there's like, so much coming up these days with these um, pedophiles, right? And child trafficking and trafficking of all sorts that is coming to the surface. It is being seen. And the reason it's being seen is because as we move into the 5D, you can't have these lower, denser energies, right? It's like, it's like a battle between light and dark um, or love and hate or 
um, I don't know, beautiful, spiritual, loving beings and evil beings. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you want to look at it. It's just two polar opposites, right? So I would have never wanted to, you know, and I never really put much attention on it. First of all, you don't hear about it because it's covered up by those people who are connected to it. Um, and even if someone you know, mentioned it or so, you think it's like just something that happens once in a while or, oh, that's really awful. But when you realize how much of it is going on, it really hurts your soul inside. And so you may not want to hear it. You may not want to hear it because it's just so overwhelming, especially when you go into your heart and you think about all those victims. It's like, oh my God, it's hard to live with that. So like, as I've been learning more about this, um, I, I didn't expect this reading to go that way, but this is the way it's going. I did touch on this in the beginning of the month, so maybe that's why this is happening. Um, anyway, it's very hard. Like, I, you know, I had a hard... I've seen a lot of photos and a lot of documentation of some of these things going on. People who are involved that you would never expect that you may have looked up to or thought was here for the betterment of the world. And, and you know, and then you find out this other stuff. And it's like, wow. I mean, it just can rock your world. And so as I was discovering these things, it was very hard for me to deal with. And I just started pulling in just every, so many times a day, just pulling in the light, just drawing in the light, this love, connecting to that energy, holding it and sending it out. Just send it out because it'll go out. You don't have to be an energy healer like I am. Anybody can do this. You just imagine pulling in light and love filling your whole body with it, every cell of your body, and then sending it out to the world, right? So that it's just putting a blanket around the world of this light and love. So the more we can connect to that energy, the harder it is for these heavier, denser, we can call unwanted or even evil energies uh, to be here because they cannot survive in the light. So that's why whenever you want to clear your own energy, just pull in light, just connect to it. Imagine it however you want to feel it to be. Just see this energy coming in. Feel yourself glowing with it because any darker energies that might come your way, they can't survive in that light. So it helps you to stay in that beautiful high vibration of your true nature, of the love that you are, right? So, okay, I don't know why all of that's coming up again but you know i'm going to pick a card from this deck here this is divine energy oracle and i, and I like to use this once in a while because basically you just get a word <laughs> there's a description for it but sometimes i just go with the word however it wants to come up so let's just see what this card can contribute uh if i'm to be going off in another direction but and before i actually turn this card over i have it right here I'm not looking at it yet um but I want to, okay, the reason why that's coming up again, because I didn't mention this in the video at the beginning of the month, but I've been feeling lately a lot lighter, universally in some way. Now, I do know and I, and I sense that there's going to be a lot more hor horrific stuff coming up because so many people are not even aware of any of it, right? So there's going to be all that turmoil out there. But in the overall picture, the energy feels lighter. I mean, there are, uh, okay, so let's put it to a factual thing that I've seen and know, rather than just an energetic thing. There are so many arrests happening, so many of these pedophile rings being uncovered, so many of these people in high places being arrested, right? And hopefully you're getting some of that information. It's out there. Maybe the mainstream isn't talking about it, but it is. So I've been feeling especially when I go to sleep at night, because that's when I tune into that energy and I'll start just, you know, praying and meditating and talking to spirit and sending energy out. It's been feeling lighter. It's been feeling lighter. So I feel like, okay. And then in the beginning of the month, we talked about um, big changes coming. Well, it feels like, yeah, these big changes, it's already, ha like so much of it is already happening and we're going to be stepping like big time into it. Like huge changes in so many systems, government, money, in um, 
the way we all each relate to each other because we're going to start to realize we're all the same. We're all one and we're all here to help each other in some way, shape or form. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, let's see what this card says. Oh, say no. So you know how I'm taking that? When you feel these heavy energies come in at you, or you feel like you're even being psychically attacked by someone, because maybe you shine your light, right? It's like when we shine our light and we put our light out there and we stick our head up above the crowd, some people can't handle that. And they don't even know, consciously sometimes, just send you a burst of heavy energy because, because of their own... Um, their own energy makeup that doesn't want to allow you to be that way because they aren't that way themselves okay that's basically it in a, in a nutshell so they have to dim your light so that they could feel like they're not less than right rather than just absorb your light so they can be more than <laughs> yeah that makes sense i like that so say no say no to all right, so yeah, so when you do, so maybe this is why, when, when, when this information starts coming out more and more and you start feeling the heaviness of it, because I know what that feels like because I've already gone through it, just say no. I will not hold this heavy, dense energy because that just feeds that heavy, dense energy. So if there are these forces around that want to keep us down by these awful things that they do they're pushing fear they're pushing real fear i mean like actually doing things to create that fear in people um you get you'll feel it when you start real opening up to and realizing more and more of the truth of all of that's coming out it's coming your way it's already out there some people don't want to see it but it's out there so uh, it goes back to you know raising your head above the crowd seeing it but being that light for those who haven't yet woken up, right? So um, you're going to feel heavy. <laughs> you're going to feel heavy. When you hear this, you're going to, I know, because I went through it, you feel, you're just like, it, it, the world doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. Everything just feels heavy. When that starts happening, if it happens to you, maybe it won't, just remember Say no to the dark, heavy energy. No, I am not going to hold this energy and feed that. I want to feed the light. I want to feed the joy. I want to feed the happiness. And then maybe even just focus your attention on the world evolving as we release these negative things from it. Hold on to the light of where we're going, the 5D of where we're going, where everybody has abundance in all ways where we all help each other, where we're not afraid of somebody walking down the street. Rather, we want to go up and say, hi, how you doing today? Right? You see someone having a hard time, you go over and you just even say hello. What's going on? Just a conversation is enough to lift somebody up and out of a darker space. So the way you always lift yourself up and out of a darker space is to shine light. So that's what it's all about. Every one of us, whether you realize it or not, is a light worker in some way, shape, or form. We're here to bring light, to share love, to bring joy in whatever way that is. There's no one way because we are creative beings. There's unlimited possibilities of what we can do to bring more light to every day, each and every day, in whatever you're doing. Whether you're just going shopping, whether you're doing a job, where you, whether you're helping a friend who's having a problem, whether you're just out having fun, doing something that lifts you up, as you hold that energy, that energy goes out into the universe. So the more of us who can hold this higher vibration, the easier, the quicker, the faster the transformation into this fifth dimension happens. And there'll be some people that are just not ready to go but that's their choice right because all we can do is give opportunity shine light and um, share whatever we know to be true and you know what maybe some of the things that I say or I find are not true for you and that's okay because we each create our own reality so for some reason I'm shuffling this deck I don't even realize I just picked it up the angel guide 
So this is, uh, I like this deck. It's a Kyle Gray deck, Angel Oracle. Uh, let's see what the angel message is. And I'm probably gonna read this one because I really like his messages. And um, let's see what it says. Let's see what we get. Grab these glasses. Mother, Father, God. Oh, let's get that light out of there. Ooh, if we can. <laughs> Mother, Father, Here. It's my ring light. Okay, Mother, Father, God. All right. I have not read that card yet, ever. It's kind of a, new, a newer deck for me. Uh, Mother, Father, God. All right, here it is. So it says, you, you, are connected to the power of creation at this time. Your spiritual parent is enveloping you in their incredible love and filling you with the divine energy and inspiration to help you move forward. That's what it's all about, right? Light, love, lifting ourselves up, lifting each other up, moving forward into a whole new way of being. Each and every day is a whole new way of being, right? So why not fill each and every day with as much love and joy as possible? And you can always find a way to do that. You can always do something that makes you feel a little bit better. So anyway, it says this card is a message directly from the heart of God. It is telling you that you are significant and precious. Yeah, every single one of us contributes to this great awakening. And whatever, just by being, you're contributing to it. And the more you hold a higher energy, the more you hold more light and be that one that sticks its head up with so much light, then all these others can join in on that because it's contagious. Like a yawn is contagious. The light is contagious. You just have to send it. And those who are ready to receive it will catch it. And then they'll become more light, more light, more light. Okay. So it says, um, your love beyond measure and the creator. Hold on. Let me do it again. You are loved beyond measure and the creator power is proud of you. You're being encouraged to have faith and to know that anything is possible for you now. All right. Yeah. Because we're moving into a whole new world. Anything is possible for you now. No matter what you, no matter what. You may be going through, you're always connected to the source of creation. Your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. And let me tell you, we're moving into, wow, a, a place where everybody's going to have abundance. It's happening, right? There's not going to be any more of that ego, fear-based mind connected to this third dynamic of, third dimension of struggle. No, we're going into, I can't wait. Like so that's the thing too. If I feel my energy dipping, I'll start just imagining what life will be like as if it's already there of living through where you're not worried about uh, paying your mortgage or where your food comes from or how much you can spend here. or It's not going to matter anymore, right? There's free energy coming to the planet. Imagine that, not having to play your... There's so many technologies coming out. They're going to be... As this darkness is taken out, there's so much good, so many, um, so much healing that's going to occur as this happens. And we're, so, we're moving, we're moving into it. It's already happening. And in fact, if, if we just want to tap into that timeline of already it being there, it just helps us get there sooner in this physical reality of earth, right? So, uh, I'm going to read that again because I don't know where I was says, no matter what you may be going through, you're always connected to the source of creation. Your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. So the extended message for this card is, this card is one of healing and wholeness. Whatever stories you may have heard about God being judgmental must be washed away. Divine energy could never hold a grudge against you for you are an extension of its love because we're all connected. We're all made of the same energy. The power and presence of the creator are not only with you but within you that's why you always want to check in with your heart like if you're going through something tough or your immediate reaction is to you know like aggressive or or combative go into your heart and say okay hold on hold on what would my heart do if, if love was leading the way and not this anger what would love do in this situation it just takes that a whole bunch of that negative energy away and it has you open more to your truth to the love that you are 
to find possibly a different solution that is easy, that works for everyone. Those, that, that exists. It's just having an open heart, connecting to the love, knowing that that person who you're really pissed off at right now is part of you too. And it's only reflecting something to you that maybe you don't want to see for yourself, right? Or that you don't allow for yourself. Yeah. Okay. So if you've ever felt that you aren't good enough or that you're being judged or that you haven't been the best you can be, know that you are forgiven. Angels are with you today to help create a healing wave between you and your divine partner, right? Oh, I'm sorry, not partner. Could be a partner, but it says parent, right? So that energy, the creator energy. This card is also, also brings the possibility of parental healing. If you would like to clear up difficult energies between you and your parents or ancestry, know that angels are ready to help. They're guiding you to see the world through the eyes of mother, father, God, and to remember that love can heal anything and everything. So you know what? Yeah, I'm not even going to pick another card because saying no to the negative energies or the heaviness that comes over you and instead connecting to love and this light and uh, the creator energy to not only lift you up, but to take you forward, not just you, but everyone connected to you. And everyone connected to you is everyone on the planet because we're all one. <laughs> so we're moving into a time where we understand that even more, where we're allowed to be that. See, because right now there's all these different programs placed. It's like brainwashing that has gone on to have you feel like you're separate from someone else or something else or some way of being. Um, and really we're not, we're all here to love each other. And so the hard part, one thing I wanted to touch on, I might've said it in the beginning because it's coming to me now again, is um, the hard part is to have patience while it happens. Because it's like the 3D way is we, like I know I, used, I would always be there. It's like, no, I have to learn patience because it's not, and, and you're, only, you're only impatient because you think it has to happen right now or it's not going to happen. And if it's not happening right now or tomorrow or the next week, you kind of want to give up on it because you feel like it's not ever going to come or you just don't have the patience to wait for it. And so, you know, like you, it's like, a, mm, feels like a tied up knot in your stomach. Whereas if you know that it's coming and you trust, you just know this, this is coming for me now because this is what I desire. Not now, this is coming for me and it will be here. You kind of let go of it having to be here at a specific time or date or in a specific way. Because when we let go of that, that's the impatience of how we think it must be, then we open up to probably better than we thought it could be. Because there's no resistance, there's nothing in the way. There's just this knowing of, yeah, I'm deserving of everything that I desire in my life. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a child of God. Why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't he be or she be? Right? <sighs> so I'd say maybe kind of, if you wanted to think of it this way, you could kind of have this like a, a truth detector. <laughs> I'm seeing like a dial. So I'm seeing it like it's this dial, right? And you're kind of looking at certain situations and you can just be like, okay, so, and maybe true is on this side and, false is on this side or untrue or not your own not your truth we could say that and you kind of like in any situation if you were to just say okay what if, what, what if I would just allow myself to be to feel how true this is for me and just feel it beyond the mind feel it with your heart how true is this what they're saying doesn't make sense to me I can't even believe that could ever even happen but there's a part of you that's like but I need to find out more why do you need to find out more? Because there's some truth in there somewhere and it draws you because the truth will always find its way out, right? People can try and uncover, you know, cover it up all over. There's all this censorship going on right now, right? We're supposed to have free speech, but we don't because everything's labeled <laughs> according to one way of thinking. Well, that's, that's, that, that's not abundance. That's part of the 3D world. We're moving away from that where everybody's voice matters. And I can choose to listen to that one or not. 
I can turn, turn the channel or stay there. I can walk towards that group because I like what they're saying or walk away from it. We all have choice. So we're not have freedom because that's ultimate, well, ultimately what it is. Our choice is what gives us the freedom to choose and decide what is what feels true to me, what feels right for me. Letting go of the impatience or the locked in thinking of how it needs to be or come, show up, include whatever. Instead of getting so locked into how that has to be, why not move into this other easy, light-filled, free space of a desire and knowing it'll come in however it first appeared to you? Because, you know, things come into you, right? A desire comes to you. Spirit gives you something. But rather than limit it to how the picture might have first come to you, know that it could be that or even more. It could expand into something more. And isn't that fun? Because we're all creators and we like expansion. So I, I would assume that if you're listening to me speaking right now, you know that. Expansion, energy, love, light. Um, these are our truths. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm being told that that's enough for today. <laughs> I have other decks open on here, my, my desk here, but we don't need to go there because those two cards kind of set it all saying no to those things that feel heavy that you know don't serve you know like you know like tuning into your heart sensing it for yourself mm, no that's enough and opening up to allowing the light to come in allowing that connection to source to lead you to lead you to all all the beauty and love and goodness and prosperity that wants to come in right it's coming it's coming. I can't wait to speak about it as it shows up because there is so much going on. Um, yeah. Yeah, that I don't feel qualified to speak about. I just know it's coming. Yeah. So if you feel that for yourself, um, that's great. And if you don't, keep connecting to that light. Keep just drawing it in, sending it out, drawing it in, sending it out, and you'll find your vibration raises and your awareness starts to expand. And then guess what? More bits of information that match this higher vibration start coming in. And it just keeps coming in. And then you feel yourself fall off of being in that high vibe. No problem. It happens. It's going to happen because there's still so much density, right? And then you're just, you're like, no, Sorry, I'm not going there. I'm going towards the light. That's what I'm working with. I'm going to be that light worker that Linda said I am. You are. Let's so go out, shine your light, and I will see you on another video. Bye.